Hello and welcome to today's video. So on the workbench today we have the Evnetics Soliton Jr. This one's in for repair. Uh, last video tracked it down to a short in the IGBT module. Uh, this is the IGBT module <laughs> that is shorted. Uh, ordered a replacement from Semicron in Germany. I think that's how you pronounce that. And uh, it took a little bit but it finally came in. Uh, it was the last one they had in stock, at least at the time of this video. And um, it's currently in the drive. So we got the motor hooked up, and we've got the uh, uh, capacitor of doom hooked up. Uh, 144 volts is what it's dialed into, and uh, ready to test. So we'll go ahead and power up 12 volts to the drive. Let it boot up, do its little pre-charge, and should be ready to go. Let's see if the uh, website comes up. It's working on it. There it goes. So, uh, no error messages. It now says running. Again, I don't know why they did this black on blue background. It makes it really hard to read. But we're definitely running. So, if we go ahead and give it some throttle. So, got the motor in frame here. Maybe. There you go, kind of. Let me turn the light back on. That doesn't really help, but maybe... So we're going to increase the throttle here, slowly. And that was it. So, we kicked out. So you can see we've got an air message now. Uh, motor spun a little bit, and then just, that was it. So if we come over here, and uh, turn the light back off, refresh the website, we now have an error message that says our pack voltage is too low. Well, that's really odd, isn't it? Because we're powered off the wall. <laughs> so, what's going on is, let me make sure I turn my throttle back down. Oops. Yeah, I did. Um, if I kill power to it again, and unfortunately the fan on the uh, power supply kicked in, but... Uh, I guess I'll wait for that to stop so you can hear this. Um, well, here in the meantime. So what I suspect's happening is... There we go. The, so I'm going to turn this on. We're pre-charging. There was no click. We didn't hear the contactors close. And so what I think's happening is we've charged... We pre-charged up the, the three big caps in it. And then we give it a little throttle and then this motor's got enough, pulls enough current to just discharge those completely. And it kicks out because it thinks that the pack voltage is now too low. And I believe it's because the contactor is not closing anymore. So, uh, we have three options. One, option one, I didn't connect the contactor, but I take a bunch of pictures when I put things back together to put on the website. And if we zoom in, we can see that I did, in fact, despite it being white on white, so you can't really tell, but uh, I can kind of see the edge of the connector there. Maybe if I get the, uh, you can kind of see it's plugged in. Oh, I love my, my camera has a, the switch is bad. But um, yeah, so that's, I believe, plugged in. The only other, the only other thing it could be, well, there's, Two other things it could be is this MOSFET here has died. Um, or the most likely thing is the contactor located under here is dead. Has died. Yeah, can you see it? It's right there. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to take it apart. I uh, should be able to apply 12 volts to the line, see if that will actually kick it in. But uh, I'm suspecting the contactor is bad. But uh, we can double check that. So I got to take it all apart <laughs> and, uh, and test it. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, so new IGBT. It's not coming up with the desaturation error anymore. <laughs> anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.